Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for September 3rd to September 9th 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards in case you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and at the website you will find uh, a full list of my services and as well a contact form how to get in touch with me so that being said this reading will be tarot and lenormand cards and the first that we are going to do here that will be the uh, tarot spread and the first position is about the uh, topic of your week leo then the second position will be about the core of the situation or what provokes the topic in other words then we do have the challenges to be faced you know something negative that you have to struggle against you know something that pushes you back and then is the guidance you know that guidance could refer how you can overcome the uh, predicaments or what is the best way to cope with the topic now when that card reveals then uh, we are going to know more uh, for which of those two cards refers the most so uh, the first one that will be the two of wands so it does look like that this is going to be a week of growth the two of wands is always about growing and uh, uh, it grow the growth happens mostly through aggression when one is impatient to have what one wants especially when it comes to manifestation so one wants to manifest a certain skill knowledge you know investments should i say that way and uh, that's why one uh, as i said is quite impatient and if the situation is a more complicated than usual then one could uh, do stupid things therefore when we do have the two of wands if uh, you if the situation cannot be manifested this very moment instead be instead being forced uh, then uh, you Leos should be more thoughtful about reconnoitering different fields of where you can be most useful. Very important with the two of wands is to recognize that sometimes we cannot simply bruise ourselves upon the situation expecting that things are going to happen with snap of our fingers, you know. Sometimes the, uh, the situation requires its time and this is what that week will be all about, you know. Not that, uh, you know um, either into your career or into your relationships uh, relationship things are going to be set on how but maybe they will require their time therefore you shouldn't be way too uh, um, way too tenacious here they are making demands constantly you know and trying to be on the top of the things but rather um, <clears throat> as you can see this this person here doesn't make much action so as a matter of fact he holds a, a wand of power should I say that way and uh, it's surveilling its um, the unconquered field so maybe this week you Leo has to survey where you are going to be most beneficial rather than jumping blindly into certain undertakings this is just what the card uh, says but should you find yourself jumping into the undertaking you need to know that your skills will be put on test and you have to show more than you have uh, been showing until until this very moment so you will you are going to be expected to do better so be prepared for that and the reason is we do have the king of uh, pentacles so that is the core of the situation this could stand as a person or it could stand as an, an event but most likely it is a, a person so you have been granted trust so someone entrusted you and gave you a, a permission a, an approval here to uh, to move on forward with either your projects into your career or that could be the person you are chasing and they say okay fine let's try it out you know and you may find yourself too eager um, to realize that you know you cannot have it in all in one day you know you just you just cannot have it all in one day maybe you have chased to chase that person for a quite a long time but you need to know that uh, <clears throat> when we do have the king of pentacles this card speaks for a checkpoint it speaks for a milestone a little bit different from the six of wands here it's all about a, a mutual uh, a mutual benefits so you need to know that um, 
when you are approached by that guy or by that woman here, they need to benefit as well. So you shouldn't think that this is an act of charity from their behalf. All right, because they can see the profit at their end, but that doesn't mean that this they are going to also dep um, deprive you from your from your profit. It's we're talking here about a um, mutual beneficial coexistence. So as soon as you are capable, as as long as excuse me, you are capable to. Uh, maintain maintain you know the positive attitude and as well <clears throat> that side th these sides of your character which are benefiting this person then you will have no problem whatsoever and in exchange that person will give you the resources you need in order to advance with your undertaking without being way too frantic about it so uh and by the way i can see here about the aggression all right because this guy or a girl or a woman you know they like to approach the situation slow they like to first comprehend it to its full uh to its full potential they like to first uh you know uh, make sure that everything is sound and safe as as uh, as much as possible before they make a move so that is uh uh, that is a, a person who thinks three times before they make an action and when we do have the two of ones for you you would rather make three actions and then if it doesn't happen then you may put the thought into it so that's why you have to be careful we have a lack of synergy there but that doesn't mean that you will not get along with that guy just on the contrary that guy or a girl they have as i said entrusted into you but you have to play a certain rules in the game so the difficulties here that you have to face that will be the ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles sits as a uh, success into one business or harmony into one relationship it sits for everything material here so for what it seems this card says only one thing the initiation or the secure the safe initiation uh, with um, <clears throat> whatever you're trying to uh, manifest will be rather difficult for you and the very reason will be again that you are trying it way too hasty and uh, what how the uh, ace of pentacles is stabilized is when one actually the only thing that you have to know here and what you have to follow when you want to overcome the ace of pentacles is to re is to realize that you cannot have it all and you have to sacrifice one thing over another you know if you are a workaholic then obviously your career um, goes forward and kind of surpasses your family or the vice versa and that that will be the challenge here to define what you want and maybe that will be one of the reasons why you may find yourself very frantic about um <clears throat> about the the undertaking itself uh because if you don't know you know what you what to expect from it or rather if um the way that the undertaking is unfolding it is not according to your expectations well then usually people opt uh, adopt a frantic standpoint they get worried you know they try to manage so-called crisis while there is no crisis but the things are unfolding naturally here it's just you leo may not be able to recognize it but don't worry that that person here is going to um ground you as soon as they see that uh, you are kind of slipping off the right part of the undertaking that has to be proceed forward uh, then we do have the, the guidance that the, it will be advisable to adopt here we do have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is about luck but in your case it's about toils so i will explain you why it's about toils it is about the wheel of fortune usually speaks for opportunities that comes in your way but uh, when it falls into a, a guidance card it speaks that you have the chance or the choice to um, take advantage of those opportunities and when we talk about career especially <clears throat> this card uh, resembles the varieties of activities or tasks and responsibilities which are thrown in your way so it speaks for 
slavery should I say that well, you are you are enslaved by the volume of the work that you have to do but that work will be repaid and as a guidance card here you have the choice to make you know in how much of those um, in, in how much of those tasks you will involve yourself in you know and how far you want to go with them so the wheel of fortune here asks you to take um, take advantage of your luck as far as the luck uh, as your luck uh, works for you all right so whatever opportunity comes in your way should be um, analyzed should be researched but should it be proceed forward with it we have the two of wands again it's all about reconnoitering it's all about researching this week where you can incorporate you know your um <clears throat> your skills and knowledges and again you the, your skills and uh, your knowledge should kind of be uh, aligned with the expectations regarding the task you should not throw yourself into tasks which are expected the performance is expected above your personal performance so uh, also these cards may speak that you need to become aware of your personal limits and personal capabilities all right for example i could be approached to be um i don't know a manager of a certain project but i cannot be a manager you know i just i just know that i'm going to fail <laughs> so um I just don't work well when I'm in a leadership position. That that is the thing with me. So yeah, I don't. I will be a shitty boss if I'm a boss of somebody. Yeah. So that was the um, the weekly tarot reading for Julius, and now we do have the Lenormand one. Right, so the first card is the moon, and the moon in Lenormand is about recognition and fame. So definitely, you're going to be approached by uh, by that person recognizing you as a capable, as I said at the start. Then we do have uh, the ship. It is either speaks for adventure or it speaks for traveling. Now, or also it could speaks for a risk. But I do believe it's about an adventure and kind of fits with tarot cards because um, you have to first, you know, um, research and reconnoiter how your skills and where your skills and knowledge will be most beneficial. So it's about something you don't have much of a clue how to approach, but you know that you can push it through once you get the hang of it. And the last card, it is about, uh, it is the, um, the clouds, which speaks for a diversion or it speaks for vagueness as well you know the clouds kind of clouds the situation so um yeah it's um you are going to be recognized being offered a um adventure or through adventure which outcome it is not clear yet which again speaks for the uh, ace of pentacles uh, that you know your expectations may a little bit differ from how the situation unfolds so all that you need to do here guys is do is give the best you got and one way or another the situation will uh, will repay itself back to you the very least this person is going to repay itself back to you because they they don't they don't like to own to people they don't like to own services nor money nor nothing so you can kind of like rest well for that your uh, your efforts will be rewarded at the end it is just however at the end all right so that being said leos this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for september 3rd to september 9th 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again in case you are interested in a personal reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video which is only my website there you can find the uh, list of the services and their pricing and uh, pretty much that's it 
So, Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.